Just an absolute thrill to meet you, first of all. I'm a huge fan of the show. All of us are. Just massive fans of the show. And um, so much to talk about. Well, let's, that's great to be here. Yeah, well, first of all, let's talk about the episode that just aired, the last episode on Sunday. Melted <coughs> people's minds. Uh, Not yes. just me. Yes. My <laughs> eyeballs melted out of my head. The reaction was stunning. And I was thinking, what is it about this show, Game of Thrones? And I realized you get us to really care about characters, love them, think that they're central to everything, and then you kill them. <laughs> <laughs> you sick bastard. I, I do do that, yes, yeah. it's true. Uh... Why do you do that? Why do you, uh, you have this way of completely surprising people. They think, well, at least this character I know is gonna be around for a while, but no. This is, you have a, you have a way of surprising us. I, I suppose you write the sort of stuff you like to read, and as a reader or as a viewer of television and film, I always like unexpected things. And uh, I always like the suspense to be real, you know? We've all seen the movies where the hero is in, in trouble, he's surrounded by 20 people, uh, but you know he's gonna get away because he's the hero. Yeah. And you, you don't really feel any fear for him. I want my readers and I want my viewers to be afraid uh, when, when my characters are in danger. I want them to be afraid to turn the next page because their next character may not survive it. You've achieved that. Uh, <laughs> do you now, now, now that it's a television show and a very popular television show, you have actors, this is the biggest thing that's ever happened to them, you must have actors begging you, please, Please don't kill my character. Has that happened? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, uh, we, we had uh, recently uh, out here in Los Angeles, we had the premiere for the third season. We had a wonderful party, a big premiere at Grauman's Chinese Theater. And uh, I, at one point at the, at the party before the premiere, I found myself talking with, uh, with three actors, uh, some of whom I was just meeting for the first time. It was a delightful conversation. I had a moment where I realized they were all dead. <laughs> and they don't know it. They don't know it. Well, actually, one of them knew it, but the other two didn't know it yet. Because, you know, they would know it if they'd read the books. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm years ahead of yeah, them. Exactly. If they haven't read the books, they, they already have themselves. That's to blame. strange. It's yeah. like you know the future. You're talking to people. They're like, I just love doing the show. Yeah. It's the best. And you know you're talking to a dead man. I do, yes. Uh, but there was one uh, actress, I won't, I won't say her name, who at that same party said, oh, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I don't want to die. I love doing this show. Yeah. And I know that she, she does die. So <laughs> <laughs> I felt very, very, very guilty. It's yeah. one, one thing to kill these characters when they're just people on paper, but when you actually meet the actors who portray them and you know you're making people unemployed, it, uh, it does bring up a certain amount of guilt feelings. Okay. You know, it's curious. Like you, like you said, you have this way of taking the most central characters to a show and you have no fear in just getting rid of them. If you were the writer behind this show, the Conan show, <laughs> who would you get rid of for maximum thrills and chills? Well, you know, that would depend on who was behind it. I, I, I suppose as the heir to the throne, you would be the conspirator who would uh, be arming the band with crossbows. Right, sure. Uh, <laughs> to, uh, so to, you, to so, get rid so of you. So you would have me killed pretty quickly <laughs> by Andy and the band, right? That's right. <laughs> Who's think, applauding that? <laughs> You're like, we want to see that. Are we sure they have no crossbows over there? <laughs> Trust me, they're, they're, in a, they're in a state where they can't do anything. Uh, 